Valve is expanding the Steam brand. And their first major step in their master plan is to introduce these brand new brand guidelines. These guidelines pertain primarily to advertising purposes, but they carry a much greater implication than one might think. All of this information can be found on Valve's Steamworks documentation page, and this page is made public to anyone. So let's go over these brand new guidelines and see what changes they bring to Steam as a whole. But before that, if you like this video or any other video I've made on this channel, please like, subscribe, and share with all of your friends. Spreading the gospel of high-tech lowlife really helps me in the YouTube algorithm, and it lets the algorithm know that you want more. And while you're at it, why don't you check out my brand new podcast, Off the Console. It's a podcast started by Gardner Bryant, Games Reveal Deny. Yes, we have a YouTube channel with full podcast episodes and clips, but we're also on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Be sure to check it out and like and subscribe if you like our podcast. And one more thing, I've been invited by Noah from Steam Deck HQ to be a guest announcer for the Steam Deck Game Awards, the first ever, hosted by, of course, Steam Deck HQ. It's a Steam Deck specific game award show, unlike any other. You can find more information linked down below. The first section advertises that games are available on Steam. And it's not like just a generic on PC message. No, no, no. This is for using the Steam logo in your trailers and stuff like that. Also some stuff about advertising your game availability on Steam and like adding some legal text and whatnot to printable materials. Flyers, I guess? I'm not entirely sure. And this stuff really isn't super relevant to you or I, so let's move on. Now we're a little closer. This is where things are starting to get a little more interesting, but we're not quite there yet. This pertains to shipping your hardware with Steam pre-installed. What is interesting though is that yes, they use an example box and this example box looks like a handheld. I'm okay with this because let's be frank, most of you guys here, if you get a new PC or set up a new PC or a new PC handheld that's not a Steam Deck, then the first thing you'll probably download is in fact Steam. Now for the big question, will any actual manufacturers include the Steam logo or even include Steam itself for that matter? I don't know, maybe. But this is just the beginning. Let's talk about the next page right here, powered by SteamOS. For those who don't know, SteamOS is the operating system on the Steam Deck and it's what gives it all of its great features. What this tells me is that Valve is gearing up towards shipping SteamOS on other devices besides the Steam Deck. And no, I don't mean the Steam Deck 2, I mean other companies' PC handhelds. We don't know of too many upcoming PC handhelds except for like, you know, the expected ones, the Steam Deck 2, the ROG Ally 2, the Legion Go 2, and so on and so forth. But at the end of the day, it is just a guideline, and it is just a guideline for those that want to ship SteamOS with their devices. The big question now is, will any of them actually use SteamOS? I mean, one of the biggest reasons for using Windows is compatibility. And yes, PC handhelds will use Windows as an advertising port. Play all of your games. Not most of your games, except for like all of your favorite multiplayer games like Fortnite and Destiny 2 and whatnot. No, no, no. All of your games. Now Valve's intention is very clear, they want companies to use SteamOS and they want them to ship their devices with SteamOS on it. And they want consumers to know that this device, whatever it may be, comes with SteamOS. What I do find interesting is around the time Valve published this stuff, we got news of a new device that's been leaked, the Lenovo Legion Go S. The Legion Go S is what appears to be a lighter and more budget-oriented Legion Go, but without all the bells and whistles that I kind of like. That means no kickstand, no detachable controllers, and no mouse mode. Windows Central expects this to be between $399 and $449 USD, and I mean, if it actually hits that price point, then it might be killer. The real kicker, however, is the chip it's supposed to use. It's said to be an AMD Z2G APU. Now, AMD may say that this is a Z2 chip, but this is basically kind of worse than the Z1 Extreme chip that you're all familiar with. That's the cost of being budget-oriented, I guess. What does this have to do with SteamOS? Nothing. Except I'm gonna make a conspiracy theory here. What if Lenovo wants to ship this with SteamOS? Now that's a crazy thought now, wouldn't it? Would you buy one of these if it came with SteamOS? I might. Maybe. I don't know, actually. So back to Steam's brand guidelines. Let's talk about the next one. Logo brands for hardware. So this right here talks about controllers. These are input devices or, you know, controllers that are made to work with Steam. But unlike the other sections of this PDF, here they mention some explicit criteria. 
So let's look at them. So, inputs. The buttons must be dedicated and not overloaded with different functionality. Like for example, you need a Steam button, a quick access menu button, the quote unquote menu and view buttons with glyphs that match the Steam Deck. The view and menu buttons are basically start and select, okay? A, B, X, Y in a layout that matches the Steam Deck and rear and auxiliary rebindable buttons. And on top of that, gyro is required and capacitive touch sensing is required as well. And of course, the controller must be able to directly interface with Steam running on a device without using a Steam link, of course. So here it is. If you want to explicitly advertise your controller as having Steam support, then you need all of these features. This is Valve's first step in evolving PC controllers to be more than just, you know, what an Xbox have. It's an Xbox layout, but with gyro and capacitive thumbsticks and back buttons. But I am curious how controller manufacturers would actually reach out to Valve and implement these features into Steam itself. Like if I were 8-bit though, how would I reach out to Valve and be like, hey, I want to make a Steam compatible controller. How extensively would you have to work with Valve to actually create a controller like this? Like, let's look at Hori. Hori made a controller that's basically this. Now, it's not to say that other controllers without these features or even the badge on the front won't work on Steam. I mean, Steam works with Nintendo controllers, Xbox controllers, and PlayStation controllers. All the official stuff. There's nothing stopping a company from making a controller that's basically a Nintendo Switch or an Xbox controller. The rest of this document isn't super relevant to our purposes because, you know, I don't really do Steam VR stuff, but it is good to read in case you are into VR, so read that yourself. All of these various logos that are mentioned in the document are available for download on Steamworks. Links in the description down below. Now obviously, there's more to this than just slapping your logo on a device. You would have to actually talk with Valve, consult with them, and actually, like, I don't know make agreements and stuff like that. Now, yes, you may be able to download SteamOS for free, like an image, but that doesn't mean you're free to distribute it wherever you want. In cases like this, you would have to get Valve's explicit approval. Like, you can't just sell things that say Steam compatible or has Steam or is powered by SteamOS without Valve knowing because I think they'd get kind of pissed off and they may take you to court. So what does it mean? Does it mean Valve is ready to start putting their brand on other devices again? Well, the answer is yes, and we've seen that with devices like the Hori controller. I just hope other manufacturers can contact Valve and just say that they want to make a Steam compatible controller and make them. I think I've said this a number of times, but imagine a controller like the Hori controller, but made by a company like 8 Doe. As for SteamOS on other devices, I don't think this means a general release SteamOS is coming out anytime soon. Because let's remember, NVIDIA drivers don't work that well with game scope, which makes the Steam Deck experience work altogether. It would be kind of irresponsible to release an OS that doesn't work with around 70% of all PC users, because let's be real, most people use NVIDIA. Heck, my desktop runs an NVIDIA GPU. But it's clear Valve wants other manufacturers to use SteamOS on their devices. But there's no telling if future devices will use SteamOS, like if we can expect a SteamOS version of the ROG Ally 2 or the Legion Go 2. The other question is, is Valve going to stick this powered by SteamOS sticker on the Steam Deck 2's box? Probably. If you like this video, please press the like button and check out our other videos. And if you like those other videos as well, be sure to press the subscribe button and share the good gospel of high-tech lowlife with your friends. Furthermore, we have a community discord for enlightened individuals such as you. And if you wish to further support high-tech lowlife, be sure to check out our Patreon page. Links in the description. 